if you are seeing this video, it is probably because you have dull skin, you've been having issues with dull skin, or you're just wondering why you're just not looking as fresh and bright. And I'm here to give you some helpful information from a esthetician point of view. So I do have notes here um, because these things are, they kind of like pop up into my head and I kind of have to write them down in that moment. There's going to be some things that are on this list that you probably never thought of that really don't have anything to do with actually putting products on your skin i know but that's just because i've just done a bunch of research and a bunch of analysis on skin how people take care of their skin and what people eat so please stay and watch to the end of the video because i'm going to start with the most least thing to the most major thing and if this is your first time here my name is cecilia and if you've been here before welcome back don't forget to like share and subscribe if you also choose and let's get into it the most basic thing that could be happening as to why um you have dull skin or you just not looking as fresh is you just need to wash your face people don't wash their face all the time um, and now I am not a big advocate for washing your face every morning. Like washing it every morning kind of takes away the vitamins that your skin has produced overnight. I am really big on you washing and having an amazing skincare routine at night. Um, so, and definitely what comes into washing your face is having a cleanser that is geared towards your need. If you all don't um, know what skin, what cleansers that you need for your skin, I have a book below down in the description box that has a full routine um, on skincare, what's good for your skin, and favorite ingredients that attack your skincare needs. And also the biggest thing, what is your skincare type? Let's move on to the next thing, and that will be face massaging, yes. The gua sha face massaging or just lymphatic massaging in your face releases toxins from your face and also gives yourself a lifted appearance. Massaging products that are geared or ingredients that are geared towards your needs into your skin as well as doing that lymphatic massage on your face will make your skin look more youthful and look brighter. Me, hereditarily, I have bags under my eyes. It is not something that I can ever get rid of unless I want to go to surgery for. I mean, doing like little eye creams or like putting green tea bags, like actual green tea bags out of the kitchen can reduce the look or the appearance of them if you just want to like wear makeup but you don't want them to be as present but me i'm not so like I, I i have had them my whole entire life so it doesn't bother me um to me it's just part of my face and i feel like i look beautiful no matter what but definitely face massaging draining um your lymph nodes in your face and in your neck will not only make your jawline and your neckline look more slim and um have less fluid in it but it also having that circulation that gentle circulation on your skin cells on your melanocytes if you are a woman of color no matter what woman of color you are it will definitely enhance the brightness of your skin using the right ingredients um a lot of people just follow trends and there's nothing wrong with trends i love trends i love sitting up on my phone watching little tiktoks watching um reels watching shorts of people doing all these kind of techniques on their face to me as a esthetician and as a skincare enthusiast um esthetician first it is entertaining to me watching pimple pop videos i mean like this is like i could sit here all day and watch this right but the thing about it is is that just because it's a trend doesn't mean it is for your skin. So you really need to sit down with a professional, have a professional analyze your skin, or do more research about your own skin. I would suggest writing down um, things that you're experiencing with your skin, how your skin looks. Get like a journal, get some things down. Is your face oily? Is it dry? When you put on makeup, is your skin dry? When you wake up in the morning, is it dry or is it oily? Do you get patches on your skin? And then you will be able to research those those symptoms and you can kind of figure out what is going on with your skin if you don't want to seek out and get a professional. I've been thinking about um, 
I have an email in my inbox. Um, if you guys by any means want to send me pictures of your skin and tell me what is going on with your skin, I will tell you what type of skin type you are. Just send me some pictures. It might take me a little minute to respond back because it is like a business email um, and I get emails there all the time. But if you all want me to tell you what's going on with your skin and your skin type, I absolutely will. Just shoot me an email, send me like four or five pictures. I need front, both sides, um, your uh, up underneath your neck, and then pictures of where you're having problem areas. And then let's talk about it. I definitely wanna help you guys. Eating the right foods. You are what you eat. Now I have an advantage and I think anybody that is really into fitness or really into their body, have some sort of advantage. So if you are that girly, if you are that girly that's really in fitness, you have an advantage because you are probably already eating right. But there's some girlies who don't eat right. There's some girlies who don't eat right. So to the girlies who do not eat right, you are what you eat. If you are eating a bunch of junk food, if you are eating a bunch of greasy foods, your skin will look dull yes all the chemicals and stuff that's in fast food and eating out and um not making enough fresh foods in your home and not having more greens and more colorful foods on your plate is the reason that your skin looks so dull our skin needs antioxidants and antioxidants are in primarily vegetables and fruits and it's even more so in vegetables and fruits that are raw so i in the morning and also in the evening um sometimes for lunch and then snack on raw vegetables raw fruits peppers greens onions like i and i know that sounds crazy but these i like these things i chop them up i put them in like little cilantro salads and um, tomato salads and toss it in olive oil with vinegar and some balsamic y'all it's good it's good it tastes so good I wouldn't be lying to you I wouldn't lie to you it tastes so good so you guys need to try these things you are what you eat put the candy down put the candy down put the drinks down girl I only have a wine a glass of wine once a week I do not drink so I make like mocktails but put the candy down, put the drinks down, put the fast food down. It is 2024, it is time for us to get serious about these things because they don't also affect our body, but they affect our skin and the appearance of our skin as well. I have on no foundation. I have on a skin tint, lashes. My, I did my brows, I did not carve my brows out. And then I have on um, concealer with a little bit of powder. And I have the thinnest amount of skin tint on. I'm gonna show you guys what my face looks like without makeup. You are what you eat, let's do better. Next is environmental issues. I live in Texas, okay? So with me living in Texas and me being from Ohio, y'all, the air here is so thick and so dirty. And this is not no shade to texas i love houston i love houston but let me tell you being coming from cincinnati um i'm used to a different type of air so when i got here the air was kind of thick i don't know if anybody else experienced that but i had to work harder on my skin here than i did in cincinnati i had to develop a different skincare routine because my skincare routine was not working for this new climate and this new environment here. It's humid here, it's sticky here, the air is thick. We don't really have these things going on in Ohio. So, um, and it's more of like 50-50 um, state of like cold and warm. So it kind of like balances itself out. I feel like every state has their like weird weather conditions, but those weather conditions kind of affect your skin and how dirty the air is. And then also here in Houston, they have oil mines, oil fields, whatever you want to call them. Um, the gas and oil industry is here. So the air is a lot dirtier. You definitely have to wear skin protectants 
you have to be aware of where you live and how the climate and the environmental things going on in the air can affect your skin. This is where eating right comes mostly into play because having those antioxidants, antioxidants fight against environmental skin damage. Skin is a science. What you do to your skin is a science. This is an organ. So it is, and it's the only organ that is on the outside of your body. So when you have environmental chemicals messing with your outside organ, you need to have protection. Don't forget that protection is also having the right ingredients, whatever those may be. My skin does extremely well with niacinamide and I have on my niacinamide primer, um, moisturizing primer. I made it myself and I have that up underneath my makeup um, along with a very light um, very light thin sunscreen home screen sunscreen that i made so having those on my skin does really well and then i just put on a little skin tint so definitely be aware of your environmental factors to have better results with your skin next is toner are you toning your face you need a toner guys so let me tell you the importance of toner i gotta get i gotta get close so that i can explain this to you toners tone your face. I know, I know I got like really dramatic with that, but it's so true. So our skin, because it's an organ, it has a pH level, just like any other organ. So I'm going to talk about our cootie cat, right? So our cootie cat has a pH level, right? And when our pH level is off down there in our cootie cat, right? <laughs> um, we can experience some different things, right? The same thing goes for your skin. Our skin has a pH level and the toner balances out your skin. Let's say that your skin is extremely oily. So that means your pH level, cause it's one through 14. But that means your pH level is very low because this is, um, think of it like this is, this is very acidic and this is not acidic at all. So the acidic is more like, like a, acidic like a lemon where this is more like alkaline. So if you're, if you're under five, your skin doesn't have a whole lot of acidic properties to it to soak up that extra oil. Your skin is a very acidic. Your skin is so, has so much acid on it that it's kind of, it might be a little dry or um, when you try to apply products to your skin, it seems like the products aren't working. That's because your skin is so acidic that the products are just evaporating. So you know, have you ever used a product and the pro you like, I've been using this product for three months and I'm not seeing any change. Well, it's probably because you're not using a toner to balance out the alkalines and the acid that is on your skin. Because depending on if it's too acidic, those products will not absorb into your skin. They will evaporate, they will dissipate before they even get a chance to 100% absorb into the skin. So it might not be the product that is bad. It may be that you are not using a toner or you just don't have a toner that is um, formulated properly. So I can do a whole video about pH balance and why it's important for the skin. Please remember, this is an organ. It is on the outside of our body and it functions just like any other organ. It loves routine. Lastly, I don't think anybody is thinking about this. I especially don't think women of color are thinking about this. I know this is not something that is directly associated with being an esthetician, but I have noticed people have came to me and been like, my skin looks so dull. And if I sit here and look at all their pictures and I analyzing what they're eating, the next thing I'm like, what colors are you wearing? And yes, it does matter. So I kind of already know my colors because um, with me being an esthetician, I'm also a makeup artist too. So I know my undertone, but I am going to go get a color analysis, color theory. And I see if I know y'all been seeing like the little ASMR videos about women. Um, women of other ethnicities going to get color theories. I have only seen maybe about two or three here on YouTube, 
of black women. Um, so I am going to go get color analysis. I already have it scheduled um, for the second week in January. And I'm gonna take you along with me in that journey, guys, so that you guys can see what that is like. We're often told that we are red and orange, and that is so untrue. Um, for the longest, people try to tell me that I had an orange undertone or a red undertone, and I do not. I am very neutral. I am very blue and green, so I look best in certain colors. Has there ever been like a shade like this, like a cream shade that you like, dang, why don't I look good in this tan? Why don't I look good in this cream color? The undertone is probably wrong because there are creams and there are tans that have different undertones, whether it be yellow, blue, green. It's basically the base color. So those colors can affect the brightness and the dullness of your skin. I purposefully wear colors that make me look bright. One of my favorite colors is green. I started doing color analysis and I realized that I am a more like cool green, lime green, um, maybe even some sage green but emerald green makes me look duller and it makes me look like it, it and it definitely pronounces my under eyes just a little too much get a color analysis and if you don't want to go to a professional because i think these sessions are like 250 300 if you don't want to go to a professional on amazon they have a color theory um it's really really big too like and I'm not talking about the little color theory wheel. I'm talking about a full blown like um, color chart thing. I think it's like $150. You can, you can buy that on Amazon and put the colors up against yourself and it has them separate whether you are spring, summer, winter, or autumn. Um, I don't really know which category I am in. I just know what colors look good on me. And I'm hoping when I go to my appointment in the next two weeks that she will be able to tell me what category I'm in and I can just keep shopping in that category because your girl is wearing color this year, okay? I am so tired of the beige, black, white air that everybody went through in 2023. And this is no shade, this is no shade. It's just, I'm wearing color this year. I don't know about anybody else, but I'm wearing color. I'm going to be seen elegantly. Thank you guys for watching. Please follow these tips if you are experiencing dull skin. Don't forget to check out my skincare book. The link to my website is below. It is 67 pages of skincare knowledge. Don't forget to email me if you guys need help with any skincare advice or you don't know your skin type. I thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in another video.